Michael Buffer comes back out to introduce Lex Luger and Hollywood Hogan. Hogan comes out with no NWO backup, but we know the whole squad is here on Nitro. NWO run-ins are common, this match is booked for the Saturday pay-per-view, so nobody really expects Luger to win here. The two circle the ring, they lock up and Hogan applies a hammer lock. Luger quickly counters it and Hogan gets to the ropes. Luger then pushes Hogan after another lockup and there's the crab pose. Hulk gets up, he brings Luger to the corner and he gives him a shove as the crowd chants Hogan sucks. Hulk then brings Lex to the corner and he lays it in. The fans quickly change their minds about Hulk and they cheer Hollywood afterwards. I think they're just excited to see this match on Nitro. Hulk hits a clothesline, he drops a few elbows, he rubs his boot on Luger's face and things don't look too good for the total package. Hulk hits a body slam and he chokes Lex on the mat. It looks like Hulk's having fun as he rams Luger's head into the top turnbuckle, but the crowd pops when Luger turns it around. It's now Lex's turn to do some damage in the corner, but Luger gets poked in the eye and we go to commercial break. We come back and Lex is in a bear hug. He gets out with a headbutt, so Hogan lands a headbutt of his own. Mike Tanay says Hogan hit Luger with a chair during the break, but we don't see a replay of it. Instead, we see Lex taking a suplex, but it isn't enough to end the match. Hogan hits a side suplex. He thought he got the three count afterwards, but Luger got a foot on the ropes. And then Hogan has fun with Luger, punching and chopping the total package while talking to the camera. Hulk calls Luger a Hollywood wannabe as Lex gets throttled in the corner. Hogan then hits the big boot, but it's only a two count. And there it is, the leg drop. Hogan covers Lex. One, two, kick out at three. Hulk can't believe it and neither can the crowd. Hulk misses a second leg drop and just as Lex was about to fire up, the outsiders and macho man Randy Savage show up. Lex manages to take care of the NWO and you can see and hear the audience's excitement when they realize the typical DQ finish might not happen tonight. Lex signals for the wreck, he gets Hulk up, the roof comes off the arena and then it happens. There's a big old celebration to end Nitro. The WCW roster hit the ring, officials, referees, Alex Wright, Glacier, everyone wants to join Luger. Luger just won the WCW championship and what a moment in Nitro history this was. The NWO has been hurt big time, the title is now with WCW and in the midst of this big party that's happening in the ring, reality hits you and you gotta wonder what this means for the Road Wild pay-per-view later in the week. Old Giant gets a 1-2 on the way back up the ramp, he gets chinned with the belt and he gets a drink thrown over him, but nothing's gonna kill the mood tonight. We go to the commentary team who talk about how this is the first time WCW has been in the lead since the NWO came along. We then go backstage where the champagne flows and the NWO spray paint gets removed from the word title. And then we see Hogan losing his mind in the NWO locker room. Hogan says this wasn't supposed to happen, he flips a few tables, but he also says he wants the NWO to watch his back at Sturgis. This confirms that Luger vs Hogan is gonna happen again at the pay per view, and you know what that means. Lex Luger won a WCW title shot all the way back at Spring Stampede, but Hollywood Hogan had avoided the total package in one-on-one -on -one competition. Luger got his attorneys to look over Hogan's contract, and Hollywood apparently has to defend the WCW championship once every 30 days. <laughs> I know, why say this if you're never going to adhere to it? So after finding this out, the WCW executive committee granted Luger a title shot on the Nitro just before Road Wild. The thing is, Luger was already booked to face Hogan at the pay per view, so it was a little confusing for fans at the time. Hollywood said if he beats Luger on Nitro then Scott Hall would get a shot at the belt, a way to keep the NWO title in the family, but that wouldn't happen because Lex Luger actually defeated Hulk Hogan on Nitro and there was a big old celebration when Lex became the world champion. It was a great moment when we look back at the history of Nitro, but Hulk Hogan didn't feel the same way. Hulk revealed to the other members of the NWO that the Luger vs Hogan match was still gonna happen in Sturgis, so that means Lex defends the belt tonight instead of challenging for it as originally planned. This smells like some Hollywood horseshit right here though. You get the feeling that the title change only happened to pop a rating for the special 100th episode of Nitro and the belt was gonna go straight back to Hogan tonight at Road Wild, but let's check out the match and let's see how it all went down. 
Michael Buffer hypes up the main event before introducing the superstars. He's wearing a sick beret, so bonus points there. Hollywood comes out and the commentators note how we don't usually see Hogan get introduced first and we usually don't see him without the World Heavyweight title. Hogan has no backup tonight it seems, he's walking to the ring all alone. Luger gets a firework display just like the Steiner brothers. The two meet in the ring and Hogan tries to intimidate Luger but Lex keeps his cool, they lock up. Hogan goes down after a shoulder block and Lex poses. They circle the ring again, Hogan brings it to the corner and he lays in a few knees and a few chops. He wrenches down on a headlock but once again, Hogan gets brought down with another shoulder block. Hollywood tries once more, he moves from a wrist lock into an arm bar. He brings Luger down to the mat and we see a hammer lock. Hogan thinks he's doing a good job here but the two men get back to their feet and Luger overpowers Hulk and the total package controls the wrist. It's now Hulk's turn to take an armbar and it's very basic stuff here but the crowd seems into it. Luger lands two arm drags and Hulk goes to the outside. Hollywood wants to take a timeout. The crowd chants Hogan sucks and here we go, another match reset as the two circle the ring. This hasn't been great so far has it? Luger takes a double axe handle and Hogan scratches Luger's back in the corner, not in a good way either. A few right hands keep Lex on the mat, Hulk hits a body slam and an elbow drop but he's only able to get a two count. Hollywood drives a knee into Luger's back and the crowd chanting Hogan sucks throws Hulk off his game. Hulk loses composure and he chokes Luger on the mat and at the ropes but Luger comes back and Hulk gets his head whacked on the top turnbuckle 10 times. The two fight on the outside where Hulk gets the upper hand, he chokes Lex with a cable before throwing Luger back in the ring where Hulk then hits an inverted atomic drop. Luger takes a few boots in the corner, Hogan calls the total package Lex loser before slapping him across the face and it's hard to explain, the excitement levels just aren't as high as what they were on Nitro. Hulk decides to lock in a bear hug because that's a surefire way to get the crowd going. He then delivers more strikes in the corner and then Hollywood locks in a test of strength while Luger was still down. Lex gets to his feet and it's Hogan who starts going down but a low blow puts Hogan back in the driver's seat, Randy Anderson lets it slide. A back suplex from Hulk fails to end the match. Hulk's big boot doesn't get the job done either and instead of a slow building comeback, Luger decides to no sell a suplex and that's how he turns things around. Hogan gets all scared, Luger lays in the strikes in the corner, Lex then hits a clothesline forcing Hogan to hide in the corner afterwards but then Hogan pokes Lex in the eye. Hogan then misses his leg drop, we see more clotheslines from Luger and then the NWO show up. Just like on Monday Nitro, Luger takes care of the faction but then here's a fake sting to ruin everything. The commentators insult the viewers intelligence by claiming this is the real sting and this real sting hits Luger with a baseball bat allowing Hogan to hit the leg drop and just like that Hulk Hogan is the world champion once again. You know, no matter what you may think of Luger, he deserved a run with the belt and that's thanks to the crowd reactions he received throughout the whole year. The only guy probably more popular than Luger was Sting and it's just a shame that the big Nitro celebration was all for nothing and we're right back in familiar territory with the New World Order once again controlling the title and Hollywood Hogan back at the top of the mountain. Even a month or two with Luger as champion would have been enough but no. The show ends with the commentators looking absolutely deflated and defeated. The NWO celebrated the entranceway because fans started throwing rocks and bottles into the ring. You can see big Scott Norton going out to beat the shit out of some biker dude. Dennis Rodman made the trip to celebrate Hogan's victory and that was the end of Road Wild 1997. The main event was terrible, the action in the ring was boring and the finish was annoying and predictable.